Hello again. The World War I German Honor Cross of the World War 1914-1918, also called the Hindenburg Cross, um, awarded to World War I veterans, combatants, non-combatants, and also the next of kin being parents and widows of those killed. Um, established in 1934 by Field Marshal Paul von Hindenburg to commemorate the services of the German people in World War I, hence it's also known as the Hindenburg Cross. It was Germany's first official service medal for soldiers of Imperial Germany. There's three versions of the medal. Um, you have bronze with swords for combatants, of which 6,202,883 were issued. You have bronze without swords for non-combatants, of which 1,120,449 were issued. And you had the black cross. You had no choice with the black cross with or without swords. The black cross is always without swords. So it's the black cross for widows and parents of those killed in action. And the award of the black cross is split between widows and parents at widows... 345,000 and parents 372,000 were issued and the medal was always awarded with an award document the medals are not named at all the back of the medals are blank apart from some which may have a, a maker's number or a maker's initial um, it had to be applied for by filling in a form which had a cut-off year of 1942 but for those World War I veterans that went on into World War II, some of them were still claiming the medal as late as 1944. Um, the bronze with swords was awarded to all those who had fought in a battle or had took part in a siege or any other action on land, sea or air. The bronze without swords was awarded to all German subjects in non-frontline service, but who were engaged in war service for Germany or the Allies of Germany. The black version was for widows and parents of soldiers killed. Um, the, the method of death was irrespective of how it was caused. It could be caused by combat, he could have died of wounds, or died as a prisoner of war. Something like, in total, all three classes, over 8 million medals were awarded at one time this was another one of those cheap entry-level medals they cost five pounds each but for a lot of years being so cheap people started collecting them by the maker marks on the back there were loads and loads of variations when it comes to makers marks um so now the prices have kind of risen to about 28 pounds upwards but if you're lucky you can find them still under £20. I mean, that one, that one without the ribbon, the bronze with swords, that cost me £12 about a week ago. That one cost me £20 a week ago. That one cost me £20 a week ago. So that represents the full set. So you have bronze with swords for combatants, Bronze without swords for non-combatants and the next of kin, parents, widows, black version. So on the front, you have 1914-1918 and cross swords. There's no mould line down the middle of the award. The award has cut marks where it's been it's been sheared from a, a solid piece of bronze metal. There's no mould line down the middle, so it's not been made in the mould. On the back, that's the maker's mark, or three. Sometimes you get a maker's mark on the ribbon as well. So that's the one with swords. The one without swords. As you can see. Again, it's got a maker's mark there. And also, the one with swords and the one without swords came with this colour ribbon. And 
on the one for the the parents one the kind of the colors are reversed if you see what i mean the central color is still red but then you have red black white black but you have red white black white so on the widows and parents black cross the ribbon is the reverse colors of the ribbon for with swords and without swords so that's without swords for non-combatants and then you have the widows and parents sometimes you'll get a slight variation in the height of the the laurel wreath and things like that but it doesn't it doesn't make them any rarer and again there's a maker's mark on the back of that one which is it going to pick it up I don't think it will. Oh, yeah, yes. Yep, it's a maker's mark. I'll just see if I can get my glass on that. These are always a handy thing to have. Made in Japan. A, chrome, a chromatic lens ten times. It kind of folds out like that. Let's see if I can see what it says. It appears to be a swan and the letters WS. So we'll see if we can do something with that. You see, it's, it's a kind of, there you go, it's a swan and WS, so that's the maker's mark on that one. So yeah, oops, a nice full set from three different British dealers on eBay UK. It didn't cost a lot of money, but like anything else, I suppose prices will inevitably go up. But yeah, people have, some people have dozens of these in the collections because they collect, they collect them by Maker's Mark and things like that because they were cheap once upon a time. But it's like anything else, for how long? So the World War I German Honor Cross of the World War 1914-1918, also called the Hindenburg Cross. Bye for now.